Okay, me back here with another read. So we have here the Four of Swords. So I'm seeing that you may have, you know, been taking a beat, taking a rest, um, relaxing from, um, you know, mental stress and uh, regrouping yourself and being in meditation and um, just sorting out the things that's in your mind. Um, maybe you felt overwhelmed too as well. But just to gather yourself together to see what you want. And then we have here the Knight of Cups. And that talks about following your heart and taking action. After getting that rest and getting mental clarity, uh, you decided to take action to go towards um, what you truly want. And, you know, being that dreamer. And then we have here the Ten of Cups, and that talks about your dreams coming true, uh, being in complete happiness and fulfillment. So taking that beat and taking that rest was the best thing that you have done for yourself. Um, you will have abundance, joy, um, positivity. And then we have the Knight of Wands card. Um, you're going to be, you know, more adventurous, uh, more taking risks. Uh, for yourself, being more confident, um, and just being excited about your future and what you have in store. And then we have here temperance, which all of this brings you balance, uh, balance and peace and just harmony too as well. And then we have here, you're a demolisher. You have the ability to step out of your path, out of the past, and let go of old energies to step into the new with ease. You thrive on change. And we have Venus here. You are deeply connected to Venus, a font of love, affection, and robust sensuality, bringing out worldly, otherworldly pleasures. And you're also a manipulator. You can transform into someone that you are not to fit your... You can transform into someone that you are not to fit your agenda, making you extremely crafty in achieving your dreams and your goals. Be sure to use your gift wisely. So, yes, even with being a manipulator, some people would just take that as just, you know, the negative aspect of it, but... There's a uh, positive and negative to everything. And then we have here the entrepreneur card. And then it says here, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So, yes, after taking that beat and taking that, re that rest, you're now following your heart into doing what you love to do. And entrepreneurship would be what would best serve you. And then we have here the rapture of remembering. Call to mind your favorite nighttime dream. Take a swim in the dreams stream and get drenched in its soulful potency. Carry droplets of the dream back onto the dry land of your waking reality as you embody its energy and infuse its, its vibrancy. See? You know, uh, being a dreamer and having those dreams and taking that beat back to, to, to mellow on those dreams, you, you, you came into remembering who you are. And then now you're embodying everything that you learned to bring, bring it to fruition. And it could be even bringing, you know, your own business to fruition too as well. And then we have here, bring your highest to your lowest. Call to mind your greatest strength, the aspect of you that is the most spiritually mature. Now infuse that power into the place where you feel the weakest or the most vulnerable, you will be a more powerful force to reckon with. 
And then lastly, we have no bees in this bonnet. Nothing can stand between you and your peace unless you let it. Nothing is worth lowering your vibration and losing your peace. Let the bees of upset fly on by. Adopt a no bees in my bonnet policy and revel in the power of your unshakable serenity. And because of the no bees, no bees in my bonnet, um, card being pulled, I decided to pull a few. Why are they mad? And then we have here, they mad because you won't struggle with them. They mad because you block their ass. And they mad because you simply don't give a fuck. So just let all of those things go. It doesn't matter what nobody is mad about. Just keep on pressing and keep on to your journey. And then we have here angel number 66. I am positive. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide you while you are manifesting your inner desires. And then we have here. Angel number 333, I am powerful. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. And then we have here, angel number 00, I am observant. Angels ask for you, for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. So definitely continue to meditate, continue to pray, continue to look inward, um, and you will get all the answers that you need. And then we have here the moon. Check your chart and see what sign your moon is in. Um, it says here, feelings, moods, femininity, cycles, habits, instinct, mother, the soul, the past, dreams, and comfort, and lineage. And then we have here, check your eight house, which... Uh, Brings in endings, beginnings, uh, things of the occult, mysteries, um, intense intensity, um, obsessions, underworld secrets and shadows. Check and see. And then also here we have Grand Trine. Um, check your chart and see if you are a Grand Trine and see if you, you know, you could be a fire Grand Trine, air, earth. It doesn't matter. But that talks about being blessed and receiving gifts and having gifts and doing things a little to no effort and still being a huge success and then i see here we have here saturn return so you are definitely um paying your dues uh you didn't have a wake-up call uh it's time for you to grow up and stand in your truth and also um a pat clear your past um and live more in your truth and just face the truth too as well and then we have here two letters. Dear you, trust you, listen to that inner voice. Do not let others direct your life or tell you what to do. Do you, baby. And then we have another letter. Dear you, royal one, yes you. You are being called to fulfill your destiny. Will you answer the call? You are needed. Now take your seat at your throne, your highness. And then in doing all of that, we have here, you know, with being an entrepreneur and just manifesting things and everything. We have here, new ride upgrade. So you may, you know, end up getting a new car. Um, you are a money magnet. And also tell yourself that daily. I'm a money magnet. Let that flow to you. And then we have here, law of attraction, manifesting. So, of course, you're continuing to manifest. Um meditate on those manifestations uh too as well it says here that job is trash move on so if you are currently in a job that you know that is not fulfilling for you and um you know it may be toxic or it could be a toxic environment please release yourself and then here we have use your skills to create so use your gifts your skills and everything to create that life and everything that you want 
and then of course to end it we have my playlist that i have that i give you of songs that came out for this read for you to listen to and again it could be the title of the song or listen to the song and check the lyrics out and it could be a message in there for you so we have snoop dogg and Wiz Khalifa, Young, Wild, and Free, featuring Bruno Mars. Wale, featuring Neo, White Linen, Coolin. Then we have Currency, The World Is Ours. We have PZ and Rio, the Young OG, Chicken Coop. Then we have J. Cole, featuring Kendrick Lamar, Forbidden Fruit. And then we also have Young Dolph, Death Row. And then we have here BFB the Pac-Man Dunn and Big Sean Hire. So listen to those songs. It could be a message in there for you. Thank you for listening. I hope you got a message um, out of it for you. And blessings to you all.